Here we're given a parallelogram, and we want to determine the length of the red diagonal. And one of the things we have to remember about a parallelogram is that adjacent angles are supplementary, meaning they have a sum of 180 degrees. So if this is 79 degrees, this angle here must be 101 degrees. And also opposite sides have equal length. So if this is 6 meters, then this side here is also 6 meters. And now we can apply the law of cosines to determine the length of this red diagonal, which we'll go ahead and call x. And the law of cosines can be expressed in a variety of ways, but what's important is the relationship among the three sides and the angle that's being used. If we're going to use angle A, then the side opposite angle A would be on the other side of the equal sign by itself. And it's also true that sides B and C would form the angle of known measure, or in this case, angle A. So if we're going to use this angle, this would be angle A, this would be side A, and then the two sides that form angle A would be B and C in no particular order. And now we can determine the length of the diagonal using the law of cosines. We would have x squared equals 10 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 10 times 6 times cosine 101 degrees. Let's go ahead and move this to avoid any confusion. And now we'll have to evaluate this using our calculator. Let's check to make sure that we're in degree mode. And we are. And now if we're careful, we can type all this in at one time. We have 10 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 10 times 6 times cosine 101 degrees. So we have x squared is approximately 158.9. And then to determine the value of x, we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. And we're only concerned about the positive square root here, or principal square root. So x is going to be approximately equal to the square root of 158.9. And so the length of the diagonal is approximately 12.6 meters. I hope this was helpful.